sida to pop on here a little bit just to say hope you guys are doing great hope you're safe and that you really practice social distancing and doing your thing to take care of yourself in light of the current situation because I want you guys to still be around when this is all over So it's day number four and these are the symptoms I'm supposed to be having. I'm supposed to be having traces of anorexia, diarrhea, higher fever, but I'm not. I was feeling a little bit sad today. Not a little bit, I mean sad because it, you're away from your loved ones and it's like, it's hard. It's, 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 it's just hard. Yeah, I must admit I, I cried a bit. So anyway, so today I'm wearing a jeans I took from my son that he had in his drain out pile. Essentially that he doesn't wear anymore. So it's the Rockaway one that I've shown you guys before. So I've decided to put it to good use and I'm pairing it with this um, waist length um, blazer that I got from my sister um, pile in my country so yeah it has a few little little imperfections um, like the pocket is a little bit ripped right here but I sewed it as you guys know on this channel we repair <laughs> we upcycle <laughs> So yeah, I sort of repaired it. This is a crop top I got ages ago, thrifted as well. And I don't think it's designed to be cropped, but because it's a smaller size, as you can see the sleeve, it's cropped on me, so I wear it with my high-waisted pants. So yeah. This is today's look and never mind my socks. <laughs> this is the pants that my son isn't wearing. So I'm wearing it for him. And it's wide leg, you know I love wide leg. And this is the jacket. So this is the top and it's navy blue. This is what it looks like. jacket that I got from my sister <laughs> just to feel better because I was really feeling so sad honestly feeling sad so it's one of the things I love to do when I'm feeling sad and I would encourage you to do it um, do what bring you joy like dance I have a series of music that makes me feel better So sometimes I put on Caribbean music just to get me going. So while working at home, when I'm on my break, like today because I'm a little bit sad, I have to put on some Caribbean music because it definitely cheers me up. <laughs>
can't sleep at all. You Looking back at this, guys, just give me joy, and I feel so good. Okay, it's back to work. <laughs> Pouring through the last of this cold, and yes, it is a cold because I've taken the test, the GC test. So, the self assessment test that is on the government website, I took it. So, so as you guys can see, I went on the Canada's website, I did the self assessment, and this is my answers and the result that they gave to me and of course it is some of the symptoms but i just need to stay at home for an extra 10 days just to monitor my symptoms so in case it gets worse then i could admit myself to emergency but so far so good i'm really pleased with my progress i just have to recover from this so Yay! And I get dressed because it makes me feel better. So, yeah. Hope you guys find inspiration as you work from home in total, well, by yourself, essentially. You, you're just by yourself. And of course, I'm not wearing any makeup, so you see me in all my perfect imperfections. <laughs> So yeah guys, so be inspired, stay safe, practice your social distancing and your self-isolation six feet apart, not six feet under. Uh, good morning guys. So I'm still recovering. As you can tell, I'm still stuffy. So as you can see from the symptoms on day five, I should be experiencing fatigue, muscle pain, dry cough, but I only have a dry cough. And the upcoming days are really when things get worse and I'm not feeling that badly. And I don't think I'll get to those other stages. So I'm feeling pretty good about day five at the moment. Um, but today it's another work day working from home self isolating I'm not gonna lie it's been crazy because I do like to socialize but there's a strict order not to go in any crowds so plus the fact that I have a cold I don't want to freak anybody out and yes it's not the C word no well yes it is a cold <laughs> hence the C word <laughs> but it's not the C O V I D dash one nine but yeah it did really hit me a bit hard because I've really been sick for the past year as I've mentioned before and so my 
immune system is a bit down to be honest because I haven't been like really eating as well as I should based on the fact that at one point I couldn't even cook for myself so it's been a struggle so anyway in the midst of all this you guys know I still like to look a bit put together and to feel good polka dots always make me feel good so I thought today's a good day too it's Friday so why not this is something I'm likely to wear in the office on a Friday so yeah this is what I'm wearing it's the long dress I bought from a local store nearby and um, really wanted to support the small business it's owned by a cute couple a man and this woman but I mainly meet the woman so I am all for women employment and empowerment so yeah I really wanted to support her it is not of the greatest fabric guys it is polyester but you know what I did support her I think a year ago yeah or oh, yeah and two years ago yeah when I started to pay more attention to polyester I haven't bought any since so but this had me at polka dots and at the long sleeves Plus, it was going to put in the local business. I am so sorry. I am all stuffed up still. So, I'm really sorry. But yeah, so this is what it looks like. I really do like it. I love the details on it. It's simplicity. Polka dot is very loud, so it doesn't need much. So yeah, really love it. I'm not wearing any shoes because <laughs> I'm at home. So I'm gonna rest you down while I work. And yeah. So when I'm not playing Caribbean music, she gets me through the day. I love me some Tina. This woman gets me through the day, so. Let's do today's dance move. I'm a private dancer, a dancer for money. Do what you want me to do. I'm a private dancer, a dancer for money. Any old music would do. Wait, dancer, dancer for money. Do what you want me to do actually help me with my back so that's what I do so really do take care of yourself guys and this is me just trying to encourage you in whatever way I could and I'm not feeling the greatest right now but I'm not gonna sit down and wallow in my misery although I did that a bit yesterday yeah yesterday was a bit hard for me but yeah my phone but yeah hope you guys really get motivated and do your stuff around the house and just get going guys feel great about yourself knowing that you're doing your very best and support whoever you could really and truly look out for your neighbors it's a time when we could we should be more community oriented and, and I know in a North American culture, they are more individualistic, but this is a time to be more community oriented and really help each other out. And this is something that really comes naturally to me because I'm from the Caribbean. So if anyone needs help, and I know even sometimes you put your own self in danger, but don't do that. But Take your precautions, but help as many people as you could. Right now, I'm self-isolated, and this is my way of really and truly listening and contributing to the safety and well-being of everyone around me. So I hope 
you find inspiration. And remember, don't go crazy shopping. Um, try as much as possible to utilize your financial resources wisely. And, and some people often say, save your money for a rainy day. This is that rainy day. Don't go overboard. And that's why I try as much as possible to, I try to promote reusing what you have, upcycling what you have, find inspiration with things you already own so that in situation like this, at least you have a little mess egg put aside to help you as you face times like these. So, this is a lesson for many of us and I hope that you get inspired. So, thank you guys so much and I'll see you soon.